Well, I asked the butterfly members if they had any questions for you. And Lori Rosenblatt actually has a question for you. She's a mother as well and wants to know if you were at any point scared in launching your line. Oh, terrified. <laughs> What a good question, Lori. I was terrified. In fact, I was remembering the other day driving with my husband in the country before the line had opened, when it was fixing to open, going to be opening in like six months, and this feeling of terror. I, I think we all feel it different places. I get mine in the heart. I feel like, Egh! and I remember that feeling. And it, you know, I'm sad to say it kind of stayed with me my whole career, this anxiety. Um, now I don't have it, maybe because I'm retired, but also I've been doing a lot of work on it. So that fear is something that can be motivating, but it's exhausting too. So the next generation coming along, I'm hoping they can learn to be successful and work really hard without having that. Right. Because really, what's, you know, so if the clothes didn't sell, they'd close the company. It's not really like a life threatening mm -hmm. thing. But yes, I was terrified. <laughs> Well, she also wants to know, in having such a su successful career, do you feel that you missed out on any life's experiences? I missed out a lot of my children's growing up, and that's, that's the, the big question. Um, for me, and the way it turned out, it was worth it. You can't do everything. You can't hold on to everything. It's like on a vacation. You want it to go on. You want to capture it in the photos, but you can't, it d can't go on and you can't capture it all. You're going to miss something. So I guess in the end, the trade-off for me was worth it. But I missed my children's first steps. I can't remember if I heard their first words. But on the other hand, they got to see a career mom who loved her job. They, I brought them to work with me as much as I could. They'd go on personal appearances all over the country. They've seen the inside of every Saxon Neiman's <laughs> in the United States. Um, so they're trade-offs. And do you think your children will follow in your footsteps? I know they're in college now. <laughs> uh, my younger daughter did an internship in fashion, and it was great because it told her she does not want to go into the okay. industry. That's a good thing about internships. And both girls are very fashionable, but no, I don't think they're going this direction, mm -hmm. which I think is good. You know, it's, it's tricky when you follow in a parent's direct footsteps mm -hmm. because there's always that comparison going on. Now you have a special relationship with one of your daughters that you just wrote a book about. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, my older daughter Charlotte has learning differences and I, she and I together wrote a book about um, what it was like, what it was like for her being different from her peers, finding she couldn't do things they couldn't do, how hard that was for her. And the book is also about me being this type A personality, very under, you know, being organized in uh, academic things what it was like for me having a daughter who was different than myself. And I think mothers everywhere, I mean, that's one of the big learnings of being a mother, whether your child has a real difference or not, they are not you. But with a special needs child, it's even more extreme. And the journey was fabulous. I learned so much from Charlotte and we're very close. I'm also close to her sister, Annie, who is also special as well, and in fact, um, taking care of Annie while taking care of Charlotte was another thing I learned that a mom, as a mom you have mm -hmm. to take care of all your children and make mm -hmm. them all feel loved and special and wanted. What did you instill upon your children as a working mom and how do you think they might differ from another child who had their mom around 24 hours a day? One thing they got, and this was a direct <laughs> class, is I taught them the firm handshake. Have you all done that with your kids? We're hey, Okay, like, oh, nice. I mean, it's got to be hard. And right. they always start out wimpy and yeah. you go, it's hard. And look the person in the eye. Because mm -hmm. it's scary when you're a kid. Anyway, that's just being silly. I don't know. I think they, um, they probably absorbed a certain amount of drive. I don't know. I'm still deciding whether that's good or not. Now that I've... Um, in my late 50s, I'm sort of thinking less drive is also nice. They, um, but being the child of a working mom, they got my drive. And I think they got the joy in doing things outside the home. Mm -hmm. I had a whole world that was mine, separate from my husband and separate from my world with them. So we could bring it nighttime, we could bring it together. And I think um, having the self-confidence to do that and learning to take pleasure in being on your own um, you know, there's always times when you're mad at your husband or when something's wrong with, with your relationship with your kids, and it's nice to have this career thing mm -hmm. to kind of move in when something's not going well. And it adds richness to the family as a whole. Well, 